Hello and welcome back to Ubisoft once again. I've been watching a lot of videos on the Mandela Effect and being a researcher myself, I've been hoping people will start doing some real research on the issue. Um, I found a good beginning to this. A uh, user, Agrid Lighthacker, has put up a video about a research study that he conducted. He did a lot of things right in this study and uh, there was a good sample size and he asked some rather relevant questions about Mandela Effects and things like that and got some pretty interesting results. I want to talk about that a little bit um, and then also something I noticed that I thought really needed to be mentioned. Uh, first of all, what he established fairly well was that the incidence of these effects is pervasive and that is whether it's memory error or a real effect. A whole lot of people on the ones that we recognize as very very common agreed with the answer that is wrong or Mandela affected. I hope I said that right, but I think you all know what I mean. And um, he said that this means that it can't be memory error. Well, I don't agree with that. Of course, it still could be, but it certainly makes the case that if nearly everyone is misremembering it, it's less likely to be memory error. That or these are very, very special, unique things in our world that are just misremembered almost always. Uh, note that even in those, some people were getting it right, whatever that means uh, and whatever the reason behind that. Um, so check out that video. I'm going to link to it. Um, and because my comments are short, I'm not going to show any clips today of that, but just tell you a little bit about it. Go watch that video. The link's right below. Um, and at, towards the end or somewhere at the end of his research survey, he asked people questions um, where they could answer open-ended. I don't know if it was just, please put your comments or whatever, but he scrolls comments. And I want to be clear again, because I'm going to sound super skeptical again, um, and, and I am. Uh, this is for everyone. This is for finding the truth, not for disproving it or, or any of those things. Um, but I have to mention what was said there in those comments. You will see that he scrolls through what people have written and many, several right in a row, proclaim their memory to be so fantastic, to be beyond reproach, that basically, because my memory is so great, I could not have misremembered. Stop right there, not true. The one who ran this research study, thank you. To the people who responded to this, stop it, you're lying. And being defensive like that isn't helping anyone. How do I know that? Well, I've got a great memory, but they claim, they claim, they have photographic memories. What they probably really mean is eidetic memory. In either case, the number that appear there is too many for the entire study. And that's not even all the notes as far as I can tell. True photographic memory almost doesn't exist. It's more of a myth than an actual thing. You can look this up yourself, but that would actually mean that what you see is remembered like a photograph in full detail. That's easy to test, and almost no one has it. And when I say almost no one, I mean a couple people in the history of the world ever that we know of. And maybe of the 7 billion people today, or whatever the right number is, a handful, maybe even 100. But let me tell you, a handful of them did not take this research study. Didn't happen. So let's say they meant eidetic memory or another similar form of really, 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 really good memory. Those are still so rare that I do not believe that many people fell into the study. What really happens is people want to be believed. We all do. I want to be believed. You want to be believed. It's fine. But it's not helping anyone because you're basically saying what I remember can't be wrong. I will never say that to you. Everything that I say to you in here can be wrong, whether from memory or having been taught incorrectly, or whatever the case may be. But the incidence of that is just so low. So many people claim it. I've seen it in my own life. Oh, I have this great memory. It's almost photographic. Okay, you do, but part of it's you thinking that and part of it's for real. If you know someone making a claim about Mandela or otherwise who says they have this type of memory, I'd invite you to test them. Test them. Take them somewhere. Then come home and ask some questions. What was the license plate on the car that drove by? Oh, you don't know? Then you don't have a photographic memory solved. If you did, you'd remember it and everything else. Photographic memory, the true kind, is so good that you can see two halves of a stereoscopic image on different days and see the 3D por portion. If you don't know what those are, that might be confusing, but we're talking ridiculous if it's truly photographic. Even eidetic is so good, you should be able to ask a lot of questions and get ridiculously good answers. To ask them things like if they remembered every single person's name you met that day, or the names of things on billboards, or the name of uh, each store or restaurant that you saw, <laughs> they won't. They won't. 
They don't have the kind of memory. Almost no one does. But so many people claim to have it. I have a good memory. So do many of you. I take class in school. I do really well. And that's pretty good evidence that I have a good memory. I still catch myself making memory errors every single week. Whether I never saw it correctly to begin with, or it's faded over time, it happens. So what I'm trying to say about this is that we've got to get this ego-driven insanity out of here, that I can't be wrong, I can't be wrong, I can't be wrong. Even if you're right about the Mandela Effect, those of you making Mandela Effect videos have been doing this constantly. And you need to understand, we're not going to believe you that everything you remember is perfect. Because we're not that way, you're not that way. So tell me, oh, I, I spent so much time in this so I know. I've seen a lot of people make it up as they go. I saw uh, one particular guy who sort of had this image of being sort of a, a badass tough guy on his profile, but then went on and on and on about he was into the Berenstein Bears and he was so obsessed with them and this sort of thing, the other thing. I, I don't believe it. And that's unfair for me to say that because it could be true. What I'm saying is everyone seems to create that same story about, no, no, I had this incredible experience with most of you making it up. Stop doing that. It's just misleading everyone. Just say, I remember it. I have a good memory. And if thousands of us remember the same thing, we all have good memories. That's pretty hard to ignore. That's enough. You don't need to push it any further. Just go with what's really there. Uh, when we run research studies like this, that's one of the biggest problems we have is dishonesty. And so these research studies are not going to go as well if you're being dishonest. Um, I would even be willing to bet, and this is one sort of for the uh, Mandela believers, that some people will lie on those questionnaires in the other direction, ruining your research. What I mean is, um, when they came across uh, a Mandela effect and found that their memory didn't match with reality, many people, consciously or subconsciously, will decide that they did, in fact, know the right answer because they don't want to be wrong. And so if it was uh, Berenstain Bears, which was, uh, some people say, used to be Berenstain or Berenstain, then uh, they sort of go through this process of, man, I feel silly for misremembering that, and they actually change their own memory of what they think they believed it was. Or even on a survey, and I know it sounds silly, they will lie just to feel good about themselves, saying, no, nah, I know the right answer. So. If you ask about a Mandela effect that they may have already seen a video on, some people are likely to give the correct or whatever that means answer, the answer consistent with this reality if, if you're a Mandela believer. Because they feel more sane, more intelligent, and like they have a better memory. So it goes both ways. But we've got to stop this nonsense. You don't all have photographic memories. Shut up. You don't. And I've seen people saying, oh, you don't even know how much I research, I research, I research, I research. What you mean half the time is you watch YouTube videos and you're calling that research. That makes you about as much as a, re a researcher as I am a hairstylist for combing my hair every morning. That does not count. Don't tell me you're a researcher because you watch YouTube videos. If you do research or real, then that counts. But I have caught many people doing it. I don't want to call them out, but they've even said what they do. And they say I'm a researcher. And some even back it up with, I, you, I've seen so many videos, I've seen so many videos. Okay, there is actually a lot of value to watching a lot of videos, but that doesn't make you a researcher necessarily, right? It doesn't mean that you're well qualified to speak on what's good and bad evidence. So I really want us to move towards being more sane and rational and uh, measured in what we say. Don't claim you have a memory that you don't. It doesn't help. You just, you're hoping to influence someone so that, oh, well, now they'll believe it. Stop it. Stop it. What if it's a bad memory, but you convince them anyways? That's not helping anyone. All right, well, that's the end of my rant. Uh, join me next time where I will see psychology somewhere else.